Okay, so what we're doing is we're putting the leg together, the right hand leg. Uh, this is pretty much how it comes off the printer, so uh, this only had supports on the side and on the back there. We've only got a couple of supports on the calf and a couple of supports on the thigh. Then the last supports are on the bottom of the knee joints. So we'll start off with the foot. The foot has this hole in the middle of it here. Um, and that's for this little housing here to sit into. And you tighten that out with uh, an M4 uh, bolt. So when you first tighten up, it should need to be threaded. So it takes a little bit of effort, but you just keep, keep it clamped together, keep screwing it in. And once that's done enough, uh, the head of the screw, or the bolt, sorry, um, should sit lower than the socket, like that. So the ball, when it's spinning in there, isn't going to be impacted by that. Next step is you take the 15mm ball, you thread it onto your 50mm um, uh, threaded bolt. This one's been shortened to round about 40mm, so in the instructions this is listed as a 40mm M5 bolt. Um, that just sits into there. Before you can sit it in and tighten it up with this, um, you kind of need to add it to the calf. So that's the next step. Don't need to do anything more with this right yet. Is grab this one and it will feed into there and thread into there. So we need to clean this guy up first. Is that helping CK? I don't think it is. The uh, support in the central bit, I think that if you're printing it, don't have that bit supported. It's just a pin in the bum to try and get it out. So the next step is to thread this into the bottom of there. Um, the holes are purposely as tight as possible. So starting the threading off might be quite difficult. Just try and make sure that you're keeping it straight so that it threads through the plastic hole as centrally as possible. That's off. Okay. This is actually quite tight um, in the thread on there. Um, so, in the prototypes that I was building, I didn't actually need to have the nut on the end of it, which is what this slot is for, um, because it was tight enough that it didn't move around even though uh, it didn't have anything to stop it sliding. So it's up to you really, but the one thing to be careful of is that with this being the calf, you'll want the maximum amount of play on here, so you don't want this bit to impact on this bit. So there's roundabout right, maybe a little bit more. Now, at the moment, it's just popping through that slot there so if you tighten it all the way down, you can see that it's impacting the, the joint. So you don't want it screwed that far down, as you can see in there, I don't know if you can. Um, so pull that back a bit. So that's just touching on the and it's not touching when the, the, the ankle is leaning forward, so that's what you want. Once that's done, grab your foot and just start tightening it on. Make sure that the calf, the front of the calf is pointing forward. And that's it. If you want to tighten it or loosen it or reposition it, 
At the moment it's pretty solid, but you can actually push it. Obviously the more you push it, the more worn it will be and the quicker you'll need to uh, replace one of these parts. You could otherwise just loosen that ever so slightly, move it to where you want, tighten it back up. So that is foot and this calf done. Next step is to sort out the knee joint. So the knee joint has got this, the two different parts. One's got a shield on it, and the shield is to stop the knee overextending, so it can't it can only bend one way. So if you imagine that this is where the calf goes on, this is where the thigh goes on, the knee stops it from going backwards. So for that, what we want to do is we need to use these parts here. So two caps, uh, the locking pin or the locking bolt for the, the through bolt, and two M3 bolts. Uh, grab yourself your long locking pin, oh sorry, your uh, connector pin, push it into place, and then this one goes through on the upper side of it. And the little hole marries with the little hole that's in the model. Yeah, where's it gone? There we go. And that's where one the uh, the side that's not going to spin doesn't need an extra washer on it, which is why you can just put a, an M3 in just by itself. Grab this. These M3 bolts, it doesn't really matter how long they are because they're primarily just to keep the cap on the knee. But what you can do is utilizing that circle there, if you put in longer bolts, it could protrude through the, the back surface of it and lock into these parts for additional friction. On the other side, it's pretty much the same tail, except that you've got this locking pin and on here, or locking a bolt, what I've got is a M3 spring washer, an M3 washer and an M4 washer. And the, the idea is that you screw this, this one in, and when you're moving the joint around, this loosens because there's nothing to lock it in place. So the M3 with the washers keeps the pressure on it and stops it from uh, falling apart basically and loosening out. And it should be really, really stiff. The other thing that the shield does is because there's such a close proximity to the other part, it acts as like a locking stopper point as well. So when the joint gets a bit loose, the shield will still stop it from falling apart. So that's the knee done. And the thigh is very similar to the calf in that uh, you've got a locking ball that goes on top of it and it slots onto the um, knee joint at the bottom. This one I found that you do need the locking um, nut in to be able to make the leg stay in position and poseable. That was a lot harder than expected. So the locking nut goes in there push it on through, you can see it from the middle there. This is where your M6 threaded rod comes in and the short M8 through bolt. Uh, this is 30 mil and this, this bolt is 25 mil so you get an extension on it.
this one has got quite a lot of um, play on the whole distance so you just have that bedded straight down into where it needs to be. And before we can screw this on, this needs to go into the pelvis model, but it would just screw in there. So for the time being I'm just going to screw it in. And the next step is make sure that you've got these the right way around, that the shield is on the lower side of the knee. Um, the both the thigh and the knee and the, and the calf have got these holes in the back. This is if the printout is a bit loose, you can stick a M4 bolt into there and tighten it up. But otherwise, see that was quite smooth or quite easy. So you just chuck another bolt in there um, to tighten it up and make sure that the guy doesn't fall apart. There we go, there's the leg done. 